the kids here are going to be the ones solving global warming, solving you know clean air, curing cancer, things like that. And it's because we're exciting them about technology and about their STEM education. And they think they're here playing with robots. They don't know that they're actually in a science class. I've been involved in Scholastic Robotics for about 12 years. We helped introduce the very first two robotics teams to Hawaii 12 years ago. And th through that initial program now, we have now six different programs. And I'm part of the VEX planning committee that oversees the VEX program throughout the state of Hawaii. VEX Robotics is part of an international, a true global competition that's uh, nationally organized. Everybody plays the same game globally. And we have many regional competitions. Uh, this event is called the Pan Pacific Championship, which brings together teams not only from Hawaii, we have teams from California, Taiwan, and China this year. So truly, we, our interest is to measure our, our students in a global fashion not just on a local fashion. So this is a great venue for that. I guess about 10, 11 years ago, first school we went to was McKinley High and then Waialua High. They're still both in the programs today. And one of the students who was in that team 10 years ago is actually the lead volunteer coordinator. Well, when I was in high school, um, Jason Morella, a team from the mainland, came down to McKinley High School to dem do a demonstration um, to get people interested in the program. And I was a junior at that time, and I went to that presentation and I thought it was really cool that you can actually do something. You don't just learn textbook things, you can actually do application and learn about it. So after that, that was my junior and senior year. I took electronics classes while at McKinley and then I went on to college at the Rochester Institute of Technology where I majored in electrical engineering. At Hawaii Electric, I'm a distribution planning engineer. And so what we do is we have to plan for the system. So if there's problems that arise, we have to figure out what do we need to do to fix them. And so that kind of applies to robotics because not everything works the way you want it to. You need to figure out how to fix things. The VEX Robotics Competition is now the largest middle and high school robotics competition in the world. There are over 4,000 teams in the program in 20 different countries. There's almost 300 tournaments around the world this year. And like I said, just this weekend, there's 18 going on. There's one in Puerto Rico, one in Mexico, one in China. Uh, 14 different states in the U.S. have tournaments going on today. Um, and of those 18, this is actually the largest one. There's 104 four teams here playing today. And all together, I think there's almost 700 teams playing around the world today, right now, um, in those uh, 18 different events. I think one large difference between this and the regular sports is the fact that you are encouraged to help your opponent in this. Uh, there's a large uh, philosophy in this in which you are strongly encouraged to help them not only in providing or loaning parts to them, you're also encouraged to go and help teach them how to do a particular skill test that they, they are required to do. And it's, it's a very nice environment and you'll see teams rushing over to help other teams because in the end, that team that you help could be your partner. The only restriction is the size, the starting point, the starter box, Robots can be no larger than 18 inches on, either, on all sides, but once the competition starts, the robot can open as large as they want to. And what that lets them do is they get to actually learn now what they can do in college and beyond. And it used to be students wouldn't start to figure out until college what careers they might be interested in, but now they can start getting excited about these things at younger ages and it makes a huge difference because now all of these hundreds and thousands of students who come through these robotics programs, they now know their freshman year in college if they want to go into electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, you know, political science. It, it isn't just about the engineering side. It's these kids get motivated to make a difference. They want to do something with the rest of their lives and they enjoy the interaction and the social skills that they learn through the competition aspect of robotics. Uh, robotics in Hawaii cannot exist with hundreds of volunteers. Uh, volunteers meaning we have teachers who spend literally hundreds of hours after school, weekends, vacation periods. Without compensation, they are willing to do this because they see the end result in the students' outcomes. We also need mentors from the community, industries that provide us with help in terms of uh, teaching students about programming skills, but more importantly, just being role models, hanging around these students that they know there's a career path for them out there. One of the reasons why I volunteer, I guess, is to get more students involved into engineering science and math and to kind of show, show everybody what we do and that it's interesting and fun. And um, you don't have to be a brainiac to do it. Anybody can do it. 
Hawaii has done incredible the last couple of years. Um, they have over 170 teams alone in Hawaii, and they've sent 20 or 30 teams um, the last few years to the World Championship. Uh, they've had teams win global awards. They've had a couple teams win the Middle School Excellence Award. Um, they've done very well. There are a lot of U.S. states that are very envious of how, how well Hawaii is doing in these competitions. It's truly an international competition, and it's incredible. So anybody who wants to, you know, who has a family, who has kids, that wants to get them excited about technology and their own education, they should bring them out to this event every year. It's always in, in December. Uh, it's 100 teams. It's free to the public, and it's an incredible experience. Any students who have a chance should, should look into getting involved.